for tuning in. This is Octobot Squinch with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Year of the Horse Platinum Edition Masterpiece Optimus Prime. And this box is huge. Uh, I mean, okay, so I hate when I move my camera around. I mean, you guys probably know that, but um, this is how big it is. This is this is my new review area. And as you can see, uh, this is huge. For, for a comparison, here's a hot toy box. Uh, it's it's bigger than, than a hot toy box. I mean, it sticks out on the side here, lining it up. You got that side that sticks out. You got the top that sticks out. This thing is just bloody huge. As you can see, it is part of the Thrilling 30. And then when you come around here to the back, if I can reach that far and get it. You can see that it's number 12 of 30. And here you have a nice image of the actual figure itself. You got the, the Masterpiece 10 Optimus Prime mold, but it's a little bit different. It's got gold chrome instead of the normal silver. It's got a new uh, Snap-on Energon axe. He comes with this gun, also with the, the Matrix of Leadership. And then you see that he's got a different color trailer. It, it's actually clear, which I think is great, and I absolutely love it. Really gives a, a nice uh, illusion about where does Optimus's trailer disappear to? Well, it just becomes invisible. That's what we're going to go with. Uh, on the side, and then you see where it says up here, uh, well, you can't see it, but it says the year of the horse. Uh, you come around near the side, and there's the year of the horse. This side here actually has a, a bit of a read up on them. So if you do want to read it, go ahead and pause it and you can read that. Then you uh, look down here and the, the actual Autobot logo also has the year the, the horse logo in there, which looks great. Come around here to the front again and you can see that it has a little bit of Velcro opening. You open it up and then you can see the inside of the figure. And it's actually, it's actually a darker red than I thought it was. I didn't think it was going to be uh, that darker red, but I really like that color. And uh, th the trailer is behind them. You can barely see it. It's, it's a lot brighter looking in the, the extra pictures there's a almost whiteness to it but that's clear so really very very cool but beyond that that's about it for the gigantic massive packaging so without further ado let's get him open and see how cool he actually is all right guys so here we have the year of the horse optimus prime opened up and out of its packaging and as you can see this is a really cool looking set at least in my opinion. Now, a lot of speculation is going around about why they decided to take Optimus Prime and put this gold chrome on him. Now, in my opinion, and really, I guess uh, the opinion of some other people is that this is almost like an homage to a, a G1 reissue of Optimus that came out 15 years ago as a Lucky Draw figure. Now, Lucky Draw figures are issued by like Takara, and they're usually over in Asia, where they're very limited. And that G1 reissue of Optimus that has a lot of this gold chrome as well can sell for about $2,000. So they're very expensive and highly collectible. The, the only real difference I would say is that this still has the, the silver chrome wheels, whereas that Lucky Draw, I think, had gold uh, chrome wheels. And, and for the most part, it is rather curious that they decided to leave these silver, whereas all the other chrome, they made gold. And it's really very nice. I mean, this is definitely not a figure that is going to appeal to a lot of people. But really for the price, it's a pretty nice the extra masterpiece Optimus Prime that you could have in your collection. At only $120, you basically get everything uh, that the original MP10 came with, minus a couple things that I, I know upset some people, but again, it's only $120. But we'll get to those uh, missing accessories, but as you can see, Optimus does have a very different paint scheme. Now, moving the, the trailer out of the way and bringing in the actual MP10, you can see that there is a big difference in terms of the color. This is a much uh, deeper, darker red color than what we have here with the original Optimus. Now, I do have a lot of the repro label stickers on there, so you do have an extra Autobot logo. That one's molded in here. This one is a sticker on that side. Uh, so what they decided to do differently here is they have a, a tempoed version of the Autobot logo uh, actually printed on there or painted on there with the year the horse logo also in there, which is really cool. Because if you remember, there was no molded Autobot logo on that side. It was just on his uh, left shoulder, but you do have that still on here and you can see that's also gold on there. I mean, and this is, this is so gold that it's, 
giving a very greenish sort of tint to it, but I really like it. Uh, and then when you look at the, the back section, the actual leg area, you can see that this is a darker coloring as well, going along with the, the darker red that we have. So some really nice bits there, and I, I'm just trying to make sure that you can see all the angles for this, because it is a gorgeous looking uh, color on here. Uh, the the windshield looks, yeah, the, the windshields are actually clear, whereas Optimus's are a little, they have a little bit of a blue tint in them. I don't know how well you're seeing that on the camera. These uh, do have a clearer uh, tint. Um, you do see that while these are just molded red, his little uh, top lights right up here on the, the top of the cab, these ones do have a nice silver paint on the tips of them. Um, a lot, lot of other little subtle details throughout here. Um, now, uh, one, yeah, no, yeah, I, I wasn't hundred percent sure. Uh, he does still use rubber tires. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the rubber tires, as you can see. Mine have started cracking. It's a, a little bit harder to to see. Uh, I've had to glue them on there to keep them on there permanently. That really bugs me. Uh, so when people complain about the the newer masterpiece figures not having uh, rubber tires. I'm one of those kind of people that I, I don't mind it really all that much uh, together and not crack. Uh, but that's about it for the, the cab mode for him. Now, getting both of these guys out of the way, here is his new trailer. Uh, it still attaches the exact same way via these little clips here at the bottom. So that doesn't change. You got the Autobot logo here with the bit of a red background as well as the gold on the actual face. You can see that the, the inner bits here are blue and those do uh, stand out through the the clear, but it's really clear and you can see all the molding on here It's so difficult because I'm, I'm sure my lights are just gonna completely go through it But zooming in a little bit hopefully you can see that a little bit better But you got some really nice molded detail uh, that the the original mold does have but when it's clear It just stands out so nicely in person and it is harder to see in I do apologize for that, guys, but I guess it'll give you something to look forward to when you get it in hand. Uh, it does have the uh, the little guards here on the side. They just rotate out, although I, they don't. I thought that, yeah, for some reason, they're not swiveling down. That's kind of weird. Why isn't that? Is it? Oh, no, it actually is. Okay, that was weird. It didn't seem like it was at first, but you do have those, and you still have the, uh, the clear blue bit right there. And then down here, the, the back uh, guard here, close that, as well as the, the, the tire guards here are a very smoky plastic, which look great. Then you come around here to the back in a huge uh, Year of the Horse logo, melded nicely with the, uh, the the Autobot logo. I love the way that that looks. It still opens perfectly fine. You, get, you wedge your little fingers in there. Open that up, still opens, and you still have the the little ramp that comes out, and it still works perfectly fine. Still has all the same features. When you open it up, you do uh, reveal more of the inner uh, actual workings, and then you can flop these little bits down. And then, like I said, this section right here is a clear uh, blue sort of piece. Zooming up so that you can see it a little, little bit uh, better. He does still have a, well, th this is a actual uh, solid color uh, on his little claw, as well as the, the base for his, his radar dish, but you got the nice clear windshield right here. Um, all that is still there. He does come with his a gun that, that does have a little bit of a gold or tint to it. You just flip that open. And then for a comparison, here's the uh, the original, and you can see this this is much more accurate to his the cartoon look. You got the black and the silver, whereas this is more of a bronze and silver, but still really nice. Uh, and then in, in addition to that weapon, you do get his uh, Energon Axe. Now, one thing that I, I, I'm really not liking these little uh, bits that stick out here, it's kind of annoying. Uh, it's it's a little bit harder to get into, and uh, they don't rotate, so y you can't position this in that very well, but I, I do really like the blue on here. It's really nice, and then, again, the repro label stickers are on the edges here, but I really like this blue. That's so just icy looking. I totally dig that, but that is it for his accessories. He doesn't come with roller, and he doesn't come with spike. Now, I know some people have complained about that, but... Honestly, for me, it doesn't bug me all that much. It's a, it's an omission that, for me, it, it doesn't bug me really too much. Now, I, I really don't know why they decided to omit it, but 
they did and and i mean it's it's not a, a deal breaker for me by any stretch of the imagination i i think that this is still a great piece and well worth picking up and well his gun it, it's always this gun's always been on like a little bit of a hair trigger and it's always kind of driven me nuts so just hit that there wedge that right in there and then you take this we're gonna accordion that down pull that down and in bring that bring these hit everything and then his gun just went flying so i'm just gonna set it here but you can see you bring that all together and i really do like this this is probably my favorite piece of the entire thing it just looks great uh, now, I, I could do without the big giant uh, Autobot and you're the horse logo here on the back, but it looks terrific still. And like I said, when you want to uh, attach it, you just fold this in. These fold up underneath, and then you got this little section. Bring this, line this up. Uh, this still does not like staying tabbed together. You, you kind of have to hold it together and bring this in, wedge that in there as the, the way to lock it in, but... There you have Optimus Prime, <laughs> or at least the year the horse version of them. Now, because we've already covered this mold before and I've shown you how to transform them, we're gonna go ahead and skip it, but down in the video description will be the link to the, the original review for this that has the transformation instructions. So if you do need help with it, go ahead and reference that video so you know what to do. But utilizing a, a little bit of movie magic, we're gonna go from Optimus looking like this to looking like this. And when you put him next to Optimus Prime, something about the color on here just gives him a very evil look now for his gold it is very similar to the gold that we got on the that the platinum edition version of grimlock as you can see it's uh, it's almost identical so yeah that's the color that you're basically getting but this just looks cool as you can see a lot of the extra uh the details that you get really do uh, separate it from the look of the optimus prime I mean, it's really nice. I like it so much. One thing that you really get an appreciation for is just how cool this mold is in general. But the paint applications just set it apart. Now, as you can see, all the chrome, with the exception of the, the rims, are now this, the gold chrome as opposed to the silver. You can see that instead of the, the red bits here in his uh, elbow area, it's now black. The little clear bits here, instead of yellow, they're now this nice red coloring. Uh, the Well, also, you can see that this is a darker gray as opposed to this which is lighter uh, again he does have repro label stickers like the vents there uh, the bits down there uh, this guy doesn't have that so don't expect that to be any different or anything um, the legs do have a different color you can see that the the vents here you have a, a gray vent on the original words this is a blue and then you also do notice that they replace the the yellow here on his forearms with these clear bits as well. I, I uh, Transforming it, you, you do notice that this is clear, but it's painted. So they just swap that out with these clear red bits. You open up his chest and he does come with the matrix. I, I said that that was all for his accessories. Uh, that's not 100% true. He just does come with the, the matrix as well. You can see that the inside showcases a uh, silver chrome on the original MP10 and you got the gold going on here with the new one. This opens up, get that up like so get this up and the uh the inside instead of oh well the i had to get that piece lifted up but the internal bits here are this kind of bronzes color whereas this is black now the matrix itself uh, still is a pain in the butt you have to push it on the side pull it out i actually really like the coloring on the new matrix a whole lot more come on why aren't you there we go. All right, pull that out. And when you compare the two matrixes, you can see that this one has a much lighter color. I mean, you got a nice blue jewel there. You got the greenish kind of jewel there. But uh, for me, I, I really think that this one looks a little bit better. This is a, a darker kind of copper color, and this just has more of a gold color. And I, I really do think that this one looks a little better. A little bit better. I wish that the blue jewel was in this, but you do still get the, the Matrix accessory, and it's still die cast, so none of that changed or anything. And then again, uh, put it in there. It's, it's, it's always a pain in the butt getting it in there. You just or getting it out, put it in, close that, close that up, just like so. Do that on this fella. Get your matrix all up in there, yo. There we go. Close that. Close that. And uh, the other difference that you're going to notice is the head. Now, let me kind of angle this a little. And you can see that there is a little bit of a difference between the, the, the heads. The 
The original has a much lighter blue. This one does have a darker blue, really going along with the way that his legs look. Uh, but you can see that the, the background for him uh, in the facial area is black, whereas this one is silver. Again, really making this guy look a darker, uh, more evil Optimus almost. I'm not going to say a Nemesis Prime, maybe like a, a Nemesis Prime from Transformers Prime, I guess, where the colors are much more muted. That's really kind of what this reminds me of. And then you can see that he has a much lighter eye coloring whereas this one has a very dark one which gives him a very dead look. I've always thought that. It, so it really seems like they used the coloring for the Hasbro version here. And then obviously you got the gold on his on his crest and just the regular sil silver on his. Now when it comes down to it, the, the real deciding factor on whether or not you should pick this up depends on what type of collector you are. I really think that this is more specific to, to that type of collector that just likes off the wall kind of things. I really don't feel that this figure is going to appeal to just your average collector unless they didn't get the Masterpiece 10 figure, either the Takara or the Hasbro one. But with, with this, I, I don't get a real strong Optimus Prime feel. I, I, like I said, it, it does have a much more muted color scheme and really gives that uh, Nemesis Prime feel that we got in Transformers Prime. The price, though, is really terrific on this. As I said, at only $120, I really think that this is a nice exclusive to have. I know a lot of collectors that are probably just going to pick this up just because it's the MP10 mold, and you can't really go wrong with that. But I really do like this figure and highly recommend picking him up to a, to a person who would be interested in collecting off-the-wall things. So if that is you and you are interested in getting this guy, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to Big Bad Toy Store, where I actually think that this is sold out right now, but keep your eyes on it because you never know when it might come back in stock. Now, as I mentioned, this is a Big Bad Toy Store a shared exclusive. Uh, it might be at Toys R Us. I know a lot of Toys R Us have the, the, the connection with the, with the shared exclusive, so that's a possibility, but I don't know how stocked they're going to have this figure, so just keep your eyes open. If you see it in stores, I would grab it. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotamus. Don't forget, you can keep in touch with me, find out recent purchases, all at facebook.com slash teambotamus, and by following me over on Twitter at twitter.com slash optibotamus. Also, check out my new website at optibotamusreviews.com. And if you like this review, don't forget to please rate, subscribe, and share this review. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.